This was 50p. I just had my phone on the table and I was just sitting there like going, <laughs> going like this. But listen to this. Oh, they sound crushed. This is the dress. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a video where <laughs> I bought some questionable stuff off of TikTok Live. I don't know if you've noticed, well, I'm sure you would have noticed. If you're a regular TikTok user, they sometimes promote random live videos on your For You page, or you can just press the little button in the top left and watch lives anyway. But there was one live video that came up and it was like a live shopping experience. I think this is like a relatively new thing on TikTok where they've got this little shopping button in the corner. And I started watching this live and I fully got sucked into it. Ended up buying a dress because of the live. And I think like with your first live purchase on TikTok, you get like a coupon and some money off. And I ended up doing that. And then I thought, you know what? This would be quite a good video idea. And there is some really random stuff that comes up. So I went ahead and ordered a whole load of random things from my TikTok lives and I'm gonna be reviewing them today. There can be a part two of this video. If you guys like this, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below because I can do a part two. I've ordered quite a lot of stuff and some of it hasn't arrived yet. So if you're interested, let me know and I can do that. Some of these things actually arrived quicker than I thought they would. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is from a... T <laughs> What's this? What is this? Oh, guys. I've just gone onto the account that I ordered this from and it says no content. This user has not published any videos. <laughs> the account has gone. They've either been banned or they've deleted their account or something. I'm really confused. One of the accounts I ordered from, for example, was called Toy For Fun. That account has gone, but there's now Toy For Fun 2 and Toy For Fun 3, and they seem to be setting up all these multiple different accounts. I don't think it's a scam because some of this stuff showed up, but why would they do a live and then delete their TikTok account straight after? I'm really confused. Well, this particular shop was selling different types of fidget toys, probably designed for kids, but I am such a fidgeter. Like if I'm not biting my skin or picking the skin around my nails, as horrible as that is, I'm either like sitting there twiddling with my hairband or like playing with my earrings or playing with my rings or just something with my hands. Like my hands always seem to be moving like if I'm having a conversation with someone. And these type of things seem to be really popular with the kids these days. I don't even know what this actually is. It's some kind of like popping bubble wrap type thing. And I've seen them everywhere. Like even if you go into like town, there will be random shops that sell these type of things. So this was called a rainbow press toys for adults and children. There we go, not just for kids. They had a Yoda shaped one. This was 50p with free shipping. And I ordered it directly from TikTok and it arrived within a few days. Let me have a look. It took nine days to arrive, which is a lot quicker than I was expecting. So I thought 50p, if this can, you know, be something helpful to help with my fidgeting, then sure, maybe I will put this in my bag and take it with me some places and sit there and play with my baby Yoda. Not actually gonna happen, is it? Realistically, that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do that. It's really not ideal if you have nails and I think it would be so much more satisfying if I could actually like get my finger in there without my nail getting in the way. But what you're supposed to do is literally just like sort of like sit there and play with it and... It's basically like a silicone, effectively like bubble wrap. So you can like push them all in one way. Like if you push them all that way, then you can pop them back in. It's not as satisfying as I thought it was gonna be. And I think that is because my nails just get in the way and like, I wanna get my finger in there. I don't know. I was hoping that this was gonna be a new thing to stop me from maybe chewing my fingers, but it's not. Um, but I can see how this would be quite fun for some people. For the price, I actually can't complain. 50p with free shipping. I cannot do anything, but give this a nine out of 10. There we go. The next item was from a shop called Angel Fairy. And again, they seem to disappear. Like, look, the account just says this. I'm so confused. This was actually a phone case, which I do have on my phone right now. And this was £1.99. It did have a shipping fee and altogether it came to £4.46, which is still so, so cheap for a phone case. And again, this one arrived pretty quickly. So I ordered this one on the 18th of August and it arrived on the 24th. Does anyone remember throwback to when I used to make like phone case collection videos? But I saw this one and I saw the guy like fiddling with it and it just caught my eye. And also the guy on the live was really funny and he seemed really sweet. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy one 
one of your phone cases. Now his TikTok's gone, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on. So this is another sort of like fidgety phone case. And I have to say, since I've had this on, I have actually found it quite fun to play with. And this is what it looks like. So it's just a brown, like silicone, bare phone case. It's got little ears on it. It did come with this little tag. I do have to say, I've had this on since it arrived and already the little mouth of this bear has already sort of come off but the rest of them seem to be doing okay. I mean, I don't expect that this is gonna last for ages because it was only a very cheap case. It does actually have the brand name on the side of it, if that is helpful to anyone that's looking to, to find this, but they did also have those like fidget bob bubble pop type phone cases as well, but this one I just thought looked really cute. The one thing is I actually really love having a pop socket in my phone because I'm so clumsy and I drop my phone quite a lot. Um, usually when I have a pop socket on, I don't drop it really ever. Without the pop socket, it's like a bit more difficult for me to hold. It's actually quite a good phone case because I did drop my phone with this, but because it's got like the sort of rubbery texture, it just bounced, which is great. But I do have to say again with this one, it's actually not as satisfying as I thought it was gonna be. I either thought these were gonna be more squishy or they were gonna be a bit more rigid and like pop a little bit more because it's a bit like, it feels a bit weak. I don't know how to describe it. Like the teddies are quite thin and I sort of thought it would be more difficult to like push them in and then they would pop out a bit more satisfyingly, but they don't like stay in. They just sort of, I don't know. Well, the other day when I was, um, I met up with some friends and I just had my phone on the table and I was just sitting there like going, <laughs> going like this. Yeah, if anyone else is a fidgeter, it is quite a, quite a fun phone case to be honest because it's obviously not the best quality. The little mouth came off. Again, what was I expecting for four pounds? I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. So the next thing I ordered, I actually ordered from a sweet company and, and like a American sort of snacks and treats company. It was a guy who seemed very lovely and he wasn't, he didn't actually have like the buy button on TikTok so you couldn't order directly through there. But what he was doing was packing people's orders live on TikTok and sort of showing his stock room and him putting people's packages together, which I actually really like those type of lives. Um, I think they're a bit more interactive and you sort of get to see a bit of the behind the scenes. The thing that hooked me in right he was showing some rotisserie chicken Pringles. So you can bet I, I ordered them. It sounds like a, a rain instrument. So the account was called The Love of Sweets. He also had some Freddos on there that were 5p instead of 25p. So I ordered a few Freddos as well. And I also got a few other American bits. And I am gonna get James to come in and try these snacks with me because I think he's quite excited to try them too. James has had to lower his chair to my level. Should I show the order first? Or should I yeah, just do yeah, it as do, we just, go along? Uh, I think maybe just do it as we go along. Okay, so the first thing that I ordered was the Pringles rotisserie, chi rotisserie chicken. But listen to this. Oh, they sound crushed. Oh, no. Pop the Pringles. <laughs> he did actually say on his live that because these come from America, the air pressure makes them sucked inwards. But they do sound like they were crushed. Are they crushed? Only some of them. They smell all right. Oh, they're not too bad. They're not too bad. They just smell like... Chicken. I thought they were all going to be crushed, but I guess just I think though. the top few sort of are. Well, some of them are missing pieces. Yeah, these ones are sort of just, crushed. Just Take sure. a few. There we go. Yeah, actually, most of them are sort of broken, so it's not like a full Pringle, but I thought they were going to literally be in bits. They're smaller than what I thought. Oh, it's but I... They don't really have that much flavour, to be honest. Our Pringles are way nicer. They taste a bit of nothing. I mean, you could taste a bit of chicken, but it's not really... It tastes like a plain Pringle with like a tiny I it, little... I thought it would taste sort of like, you know, like roast chicken. Yeah. Like the roast chicken flavor we have here, but quite disappointing. They though. don't have... No, they are quite disappointing. They don't have that much flavor on them. I'm assuming these are American, but I reckon if... It just dribbled. From Might be from Mexico or... Mexico or Spain. They could be I mean, from... It could be. They could be from Europe, actually. I don't think they're that nice. I'd eat them, but they yeah, don't have much flavor. Here. They're all right. Yeah. So to wash that down, I got a drink and this is the Calypso Southern Peach Lemonade. It says to shake well on here. Is this fizzy or is it flat? It's fizzy, but it says to shake is it, well. Is it fizzy? I don't think it's fizzy, I think it's flat. So this is what it looks like. I mostly got it because the bottle looked really pretty. There we go. They had a, a load of different flavors. Oh, that's quite a satisfying pop that. It was, oh, it satisfying. smells really nice. Smell that. Mm. That's nice. I like that. I really like that, actually. It just tastes like 
non-alcoholic peach snaps. It does. It does. It just tastes like peach snaps. That's why I like it. And it's not fizzy. It's flat. That would be really nice if it was in the fridge. That's confusing. That's that my brain is telling me that it's alcoholic. <laughs> mm. I like it. I'm looking forward to them. The next thing that we've oh. got is some brownie M&Ms. And they look like this. I only got the small bag. I think it was like 35p. I did want to get a bag of the peanut butter M&Ms, but they'd sold out. So look for these ones instead. Oh, oh my God, they're huge. Oh my life. Look at the size of these. They're like balls. They don't even say M&M on them. Mmm. Mmm. They taste quite American. Like American chocolate. Yeah. It's kind of it's weird. Mmm, nice, they are quite nice. The outside is really crunchy. The middle was sort of like a chewy. It doesn't taste like brownie though, does it? No. It's just like a chewy inside. I want to try and bite one in half so I can show you what they look like in the middle. Mmm, they're kind of salty. That doesn't even look like brownie. That looks like a peanut. It's not. But it doesn't look like brownie either. Yeah, that's weird. The other thing that I got was three caramel freddos because they were only 5p. Yeah. When they're usually 25. And then... These are absolutely elite. I agree. These are Caramel elite. freddos are better than the original freddos. Let me know down below if you agree. So the final thing that I got That's is a chocolate. Twinkies iced latte. Look at the size of this iced latte. I love an iced latte. James actually really likes an iced latte. Ice, an iced an iced latte. Iced latte. <laughs> an iced latte as well. And so I thought I would get one for us to try because it's Twinkies but flavor. Have you ever had a Twinkie? I really don't think Twinkies are that nice. Mate, Twinkies are like so. I'm, they are like, so overrated. They are some of the most like sickly Twinkie. things you can only have like half of it and because twinkies for um what i remember from twinkies are or is it snowballs or something have you ever seen zombie land yes yeah is it woody harris can't remember oh she's just in my nose whistling <laughs> it smells so strong of like it smells nice actually of like fake vanilla it smells like half my lip glosses in my collection it smells really really like Sickly sweet, and I'm a bit scared to drink it. Well, wow. Well. No, I'm not gonna knock that because I'd actually I'd down that easily. It'd it's be nice quite, with some ice. It'd be nice if it's cold, but I mean like that is. You know, mm. I I like that. I actually really like it, but I have a feeling that's pretty much just. I think it's a bit. It tastes. That's that's, that's diabetes in a glass. It tastes a bit too artificial <laughs> for me. Like I prefer. I was gonna say I prefer the Starbucks How much ones. Sugar's in it? But the Starbucks ones are probably really artificial as well. Um. Sugar's forty six grams. Added sugars, uh, sugars, sixty-eight percent. Forty-six grams of sugar just in this drink. Yeah, total sugars, forty-six grams. So you're so telling me that in there there is eleven and a half teaspoons. Oh, eleven of sugar. and a half, sorry. It's got a nice. It's got a nice taste. Nice taste, yeah. But I think it's just like it's a bit got a bit of an interesting just, aftertaste. You're gonna eat a Freddo. I'm gonna have a caramel Freddo. Bye, bye guys. <laughs> bye. By the way, if you're an American and you don't know what a Freddo is. It's a little frog shaped Cadbury chocolate and this is a caramel one. Normally they're just like lumps of chocolate, but it's cool. Mm -mm. It's got caramel in the middle. The final thing that I ordered from Tick, well, it's not the final thing because I ordered like 10 things, but the final thing for this video, which I did order off of TikTok Live, is actually a dress. So this next live was actually by I Saw It First and they actually did a really good job in this live. They had, I think it was two girls that were sort of presenting and then another girl that was like being a model for them. They also had a discount code for people that were watching the TikTok Live or a special deal on TikTok, like everything was 50% off. To be honest, on I Saw It First, pretty much all all the time they have sales where things are 50% off. But there was one particular dress that was reduced supposedly from £40 to £20. And the model tried it on. She looked absolutely banging. Like, she looked incredible in this dress. And I immediately bought it. I was like, I need that dress in my life. It's something that's very out of my comfort zone because it's got like a big cutout in the middle. She looked incredible. I wish I had screenshotted the exact moment where she wore that dress, but I didn't because at the time I didn't know that I was going to make this video. Because it was my first purchase through TikTok Live, yeah, I had a discount coupon 
for £4.50 off and it was free shipping so altogether this dress was £15.50 so this is the dress in question also as well I did then see that Lucinda had worn this on Love Island we do have a pretty similar body type which I have to say was so nice to see on Love Island someone that was representing the small booby girls and she looked incredible in this dress so I thought you know what fuck it I want it I want it I have to say it's quite see-through like look you can see my lights through it so you can't really if you're wearing underwear with this you have to wear nude underwear but even nude underwear with a bit of lace would still sort of show through this so I think I'm mostly going to keep this for holiday but let me go try it on and I will show you what I think and tell you my thoughts I did buy this in a size 6 because it's more of like a bodycon thing I knew that it was going to be pretty stretchy anyway I do just want to say before putting this on you either have to go braless with this because a regular strapless bra Obviously, like, it has a straight band and you will see it. So you either have to go braless or I have this bra, which is from M&S, which is called, like, the multi-way convertible bra. It's got a clear back and it does also have detachable straps. So I'm going to take the straps off of this and I have a feeling this type of thing might just work because it's only got, like, this little clasp. It doesn't have, like, an under bit. I did see this hack on TikTok where if you have a top where you can't really wear a bra with it, but also you want a bit of like extra coverage. You take some pads out of like a swimming costume or um, I don't know, like a, I guess like a top or some kind of like sports bra where you don't need the pads anymore. And then you take the pad, I think this was from like a Shein bikini or something, the super round ones. You peel off the layer of like fabric that is over the foam part and it just leaves the like foaminess, which is quite textured and it sort of like sticks it like it's like grippy and so if you put these in the top it's sort of gonna stay in place because it sticks to the clothing which i think is a genius idea and i tried this and it works so i think that's what i'm gonna do as well okay so as you can see i would need to pick different underwear because this is like slightly lacy and you can sort of see like the texture through the dress unless you sort of like bunch the dress up a bit one thing is i wish because like this little section like the bra section is double lined so you're not going to be seeing anything through this i wish the skirt portion was also double lined because it would make it a lot less see-through and they do also have these strings which i think she's just sort of like had tied around her like this but i guess you can do what you want with the strings you could tie them like this if you wanted to so yeah this is the dress i will say it is actually quite short i'm only 5'2 and on me it's sort of a short dress definitely um but it is <laughs> it is so see-through that you can literally see the label i do actually think it is very flattering i i actually really love it and i definitely will be wearing this on holiday oh the only thing is the arm bits are slightly annoying because it's like so far over they can easily just sort of like ping off your shoulders this bra doesn't quite work you can see the little like clasp bit there so I'm just going to quickly switch this out for the pads that I was showing you a second ago. That works and it doesn't feel, okay actually this one, need to move down slightly. But it sort of just like velcros to the dress. I feel like I could move and it would not sort of fall out. I guess you just have to get them in the right position so they're not going to poke out the top. But can you hear it's sort of like velcros to it i actually think that that would stay in i give it an 8 out of 10. so overall even though the dress isn't like incredible quality i do have to say it's really comfortable and i think it looks pretty great would not have paid 40 pound for it though so i'm glad that it was just 15 pound 50. okay so that is everything so far for part one that i bought off of tiktok live it was definitely an interesting experience and some stuff that i never would have ordered if it hadn't have popped up on my for you page so i do actually really like the live feature and like I said, I've come across some really nice little small businesses, which will be coming in the next part. And honestly, I think TikTok is such a good promotional tool. I have to say, if you are a small business, get yourself on TikTok because I've discovered so many businesses just through TikTok. Right, so I'm going to answer a question of the day. If you guys have got any questions for me, let me know down below with the hashtag question of the day. Today's question comes from Erin Carson and she said, Hey Soph, love your videos and particularly look forward to the favourites of the year videos every year. Thank you, Erin. I was just wondering what brush it is you always use 
use for your highlighter, you always seem to apply it so nicely. So I actually use separate brushes to highlight my cheeks and then like my nose, brows and inner corners. For my little inner corner brush, I was using one by Masked, which is like these purple brushes, which is M-A-S-Q-D. And it was like this little tiny round brush that is the perfect brush for nose highlighter, but I can't find it anywhere, but it's this brand. So what I've actually been using instead is this brush from Lottie London. It's the LE05 brush. It's just like a little domed brush to do my nose and my inner corners. But for my cheeks, the brush that I use the most for my highlighter is the Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion brush, the 134. I've got about four or five of these brushes. It's the best brush. Some of them I've got like in the different colors, but it's usually just black. And for this brush in particular, I would say it's so worth the money. These brushes do me so well. And every time I wash them, they don't fall apart. They don't shed. It still say it stays in shape and stays really nice and fluffy. And they are just so good for like really like buffing that highlighter into your cheek. And then some of the others that I do sometimes use in my videos and ones that I would also recommend. This one is really nice. It's the Morphe X Aerial brush and it is the A14 brush. This is also a really, really good brush for setting your under eyes. Very similar to the Zoeva one, but just like a little bit more round and a little bit wider and a bit more dense. And then the other two that I use, this one is the Morphe M501 brush. This is a really nice brush for highlighter, but I do find that it sheds, so it's not the best quality compared to the Zoeva one. And then another brush that I found recently that's also really good for highlighter is this one, which is the Unicorn Cosmetics. It doesn't have a name, but it's from their most recent brush collection that I used in a recent video. But mostly the Zoeva. So I hope that was helpful and I hope this video was helpful as well. Let me know if you've bought anything weird or had anything weird come up on your TikTok live because for me now mostly it's like random toy pages or people doing psychic readings. Right, so I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you wanna see part two and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.